friends, good evening. Mm. This is a novel written by the great, one of the great Russian writer. The name of this writer is Nikolai Gogol, very famous in world literature. The name of this novel, which I am going to discuss this evening with you, is Taurus Bulba. And Taurus Bulba was a character. He was a Cossack character, uh, a warrior, a brave and gallant uh, character belonging to Cossacks people. Cossacks were uh, our people of uh, southern Russia, Ukraine, and noted for their horsemanship and military skill. So, this Taras Bulba is uh, Gugol had written the, about the life of Taras Bulba and Gugol born in 1809, in 1852 he died. This epic tale of Taras Bulba he had written about uh, this is the tale of those Ukrainian people struggle for their independence waged throughout the 16th and 17th centuries. Stirred and inspired Gugol, this character, Tyrus Boba, those Cossacks people who live on the steep of the Ukrainian land and who fought gallantly and bravely against the Polish invaders. So, historically legions this had inspired Google this novel and he had written this novel Taras Bulba as it is named uh, very um, in 1569 the Ukraine was an was by an act of treachery in the city of Luban made a part of Poland the powerful Poland Polish magnates took the possession of vast Ukrainian lands and ruthlessly exploited the peasant, enforced their own Polish way of life, outlawing the Ukrainian language and stamping out Ukrainian culture in their effort to enslave the Ukrainian people, spiritually uh, sever them from their Russian brothers and thus rope the Ukrainian of its independence. So this novel, uh, uh, this is an epic novel which tells about the history of those uh, uh, Cossacks, those brave Cossack people uh, who struggles uh, uh, those Cossacks who struggles uh, owes much in a progressive sense to the Cossacks of Zaporozhin Sich, a military brotherhood made up of serfs who fled from their lords to rich southern lands of Russian state and of free men who flocked to the siege in hope of escaping the double yoke of national and social oppression. This Taras Bulba, let me tell you, Taras Bulba is a character, a novel, a hero, a protagonist of this novel. Taras Bulba uh, has uh, two sons, uh, Ostop and Andre. The old Cossacks, uh, Taras, uh, meets his son. The, the, the novel starts from the, uh, when old Cossacks, uh, this old Taras Bulba meets his son, two sons returning from uh, Kiev after graduating from the seminary. Ostop and Andre are strong, healthy, and brave two young men. 
Taurus meets them with mocking their clothes and the elder Ostap can't stand it. And between a son and a father, a cures on a playful fight. Pale and skinny mother tries to bring to reason an old Cossacks but he is glad that he tested his son's bravery. Taurus wants to greet the younger sons the same way, but the, their mother has seized them. He seized him first, uh, thus protecting from their father. Of the on the occasion of his son return uh, from seminary. Uh, Taurus invited everyone and announced that he is going to send his son to Zaporozhian Zich. As there is no education better than this place. But after having a lot drinks, Taurus decided to go with him. Only poor mother can't get a wink of sleep that night, wishing the night never ended. Uh, next morning, three riders leave their home. All three of them are silent, being occupied with their own thoughts. Tears is recollecting on his old time. A strict tear holds on his eyes with gray hair head lowered. Oh, stop having a rather hard character is very worried by the parting with their mother. Andre is also worrying about their mother and having their home left, but he can't get rid of an image of a beautiful Polish girl he has met right before leaving the, uh, the capital of so then Andre managed to get into her room through the chimney, but he but knocks on the door, made the girl hide him under the bed. And as soon as the trouble ceased, he, he was led by the old man to the garden where he disappeared in the night. The Poles were the arch enemy of the Cossacks. The Cossack people uh, uh, um, uh, from which this Taras and Balba belongs, they were fighting for their freedom of Ukraine and for their land, for their motherland in order to get rid of from the Polish invasion. So what happened? Uh, that uh, they were uh, these Cossack people, they were a warlike people, they were warrior. They started to, when uh, uh, this, his two son, Andre and Ostap, met their father, uh, Taras Bulba, he became very happy and uh, they started to uh, gather their people for collecting their uh, military strength and to uh, attack on Polish troops. Uh, he persuaded the, uh, the Cossacks to re-elect the Ataman. New Ataman, the leader Atamans, the leader of the Cossack people, to turn Cossack arm against Poland to get revenge from the committed evil. So those Polish people, because the Poles were the arch enemy of these Cossack and they had occupied the Ukrainian land, so the Cossacks who belongs to the Ukrainian people. Uh, next month's Polish cities shiver of fears as Cossack have no mercy. Taras is happy to see his sons grow 
stronger. They always are among the first to attack their enemy. Soon they are trying to take the city of Dubnau, which is rather wealthy. But Cossack meet uh, um, uh, their rather strong resistance. But they besiege the city and wait for the starvations to start. One night, Andre is woken up by a strange woman looking like a goose who turns out to be a maid of a girl he is in love with. She says that her mistress has, uh, has seen him and sends her to ask a loaf of bread for her dying mother because these Cossacks had sieged the city of Dubnau and the, the inhabitant of the, the people of the Dubnau was uh, going to starve. They had besieged the besieged this city and they were asking the mistress of that girl, the Polish girl, which Andre had uh, fallen in love with, uh, they asked for the bread. Having seen his beloved Andre renounce his father and his own land, soon Andre became ensnared of this beautiful Polish girl and he started to renounce his father. He, he betrayed his own people uh, and uh, and he stays to protect her from those who used to be his friends. Polish army comes to rescue and kills a lot of Cossacks who are either drunk or asleep. Taras is looking for his missing son, but he finds nothing but awful betrayal of Andre when he sees that his son had betrayed him. Cossacks uh, continue to fight, but awful betrayal of Andre uh, at uh, angered his father, Taras Bulba. But there comes news from uh, Sitch that uh, Tatars, having used Cossack's absence, attacked the Sitch and got its stolen treasury. The army under Dobnow is divided into two parts. One returns to the siege and the other continues fighting for the city. The Poles learn about uh, weakening of their enemy and come out from the city to make a reasonable attack. Andre is among them. Tatar uh, people lures him into the forest Taras Bulba lures his son Andre into the forest uh, because now he had joined the enemy site Andre for the sake of his lover, beautiful Polish girl, where he kills his own son by himself. He kills Andre by his own self. But the law, but the last Andre word is the name of the girl. Reinforcement defeats the Cossacks, Ostap is captured, the other brother is captured by the uh, Polish people and wounded Taras is brought back to the siege. After recovering, Taras go, uh, gets to Warsaw and tries to buy out his son, but nothing can be done and he becomes an eyewitness of his son execution and ladies and gentlemen this this part of the novel is a very heartbreaking part a very uh, believe me it always turned me into soaps while when his uh, another son was taken for execution in a public square uh, uh, Andre uh, uh, Ostop no moon can be heard. He, Ostap was such a brave man that he even not, uh, uh, not a single voice had came out while the Polish 
started to execute him, he was cut by limbs by limbs. And instead, he only says one word, Father, where are you? Do you hear me? And um, from the crowd, while his father was watching his son's execution, he heard a voice uh, that, uh, I hear you. Is, uh, so they tried to catch Taras Bulba, but he managed to flee. Soon a big Cossack army takes a campaign against the enemy. Everyone notices Taras' excessive ferocity. Soon after uh, uh, the, um, the execution of his another son killed by the Polish enemy, uh, Taras started to gather another army and attacked again the Polish city. So this time he take the vengeance of his son very cruelly for his son Ostap. Defeated Polish hitman agrees not to make any damage the Cossacks in future. Everyone agrees, but Taras is sure that Poles can't keep their words and leads his re regiment among to get a, a regiment away. As it turns out, later he was right. The Poles put their army together and attacked the Cossacks again. Taras, along with his uh, regiment, continued to destroy everything in Poland. His revenge for his son's death has no limits. And finally, Poles get Taras Bulba. He arrested Taras Bulba and his men and kill him in fire. Now, the character of uh, involved in this novel is Taras Bulba, the main hero, the protagonist. Taras Bulba, the author, describe him, Gokul describing as a brave, courageous man. He was a real Zaporozhian Cossack. Partnership and the, and the Christian faith were very important for Bulba during all his life. He was no longer a young man and he occupied a certain position uh, at the Zich. It's obvious from the episodes of the feast because of the return of the sons from the seminary in the sense of uh, battles with the Poles that Taras Bulba was very respected. Everybody is listened to Mm, to his advice, everyone saw in Bulba a wise and fear warrior. It becomes clear that he was not a family man. He rarely saw his wife because he often went on the military expedition and with Zaporochi army uh, and did not like to stay too long to home. The other character is his son, Ostap Bulba. Ladies and gentlemen, Ostap Bulba, the son of the uh, Taras Bulba, uh, eldest son, along with his brother, graduated from seminary and after graduating, returned home. The reader learns how Ostap showed himself in several episodes uh, of the seminary. This character is really revealed in the campaign against strong Cossacks, who is endowed with analytical skill, despite the fact that Ostap was captured by the Poles. He did not lose his self-control and the uh, intent of the character hardness. After the scene of execution, the reader is left in no doubt that Ostap really deserves to be called a real Cossack. The heroes goes to the place of execution without any fear and meet his death worthily. Another character, son, 
Andre Bulpa. The he differs from both as of of uh, his brother and father. We can say that he take a lyrical soul warehouse from his mother, and the determination that will to win from his father that this uh, combination became fatal to the young man. He is a soft-hearted man. Andre was a soft-hearted man. He did not intend to kill and uh, kill. He was not a brutal Cossack. He is very soon he fell in love with a enemy girl, a Polish girl. For that, uh, he betrayed his father also. And from the very same uh, crime and sin, his father had executed him with his own and Andre kept up with his brother in military affair and sometime he meets such things that no one can even thought of it. Young man was fascinated by uh, battle sp uh, spray, swords, steels, raids, everything, the Cossack life consistent. Andre image uh, was created by Gogol in a romantic way. Andre has two opposite principles, the desire to love and to act according to the dictates of the uh, art and desire to serve the native land, uh, be on, on guard for freedom and independence. Now coming back to the theme of this novel. The fight for the, the theme of this novel is the fight for the homeland, uh, the Cossack fought with the Poles the, uh, and the Tatars in the battle. Cossack proved themselves as brave and fearless warrior, ready to fight the last so as not to stain the honor of the native land, dying the utter a few words that were most appreciated about the freedom and fatherland. Another theme of this night is the loyalty and betrayal, love to the motherland and loyalty to the military duty, a sense uh, of fellowship were considered as the essential qualities among Cossacks, selfishly, selflessly loving their homeland. Taras was hurt when his younger son Turn to be a betrayer. Loyalty to its people and sense of fellowship Gogol expressed in this novel is captured uh, as a, is captured of Cossacks with following words. This son act was a grievous one, woe for the father. Old colonel the Taras Bulba cannot forgive treachery of anybody and kills Andre, his own son, uh, uh, saying while he was, he killed his son, he says that I give a birth to you, so I'll kill you. Taras Bulba is obviously one of the best uh, historical work of 19th century. It was written in 1835. The action take place in Ukraine at the time of fight of Ukrainian people, Cossack with foreign invaders, Polish gentry. The main drama is the Taras Bulba most choose, must choose between the motherland and his son. And no matter how hard it was for the Bulba father, Bulba Cossacks does his, his bit and father execute his son with his own hand. Taras Bulba is a heroic story in which Gugol glorifies love for the motherland, the love which in his opinion is above all blood ties. 
protagonist and the hero of this novel is Taras Bulba and the antagonist, the villain of this novel is the Polish conquerors. So ladies and gentlemen, this is a very uh, beautiful novel about, uh, it is, the theme of this novel is uh, uh, about, uh, it is about romantic nationalism. Gogol had betrayed the romantic nationalism of the Cossacks people, the warrior people. I hope you will enjoy this. Thank you.